magic word Here in the secret kindergarten The world's best show for kids is starting The secret kindergarten radio show Use your ears and your imagination We're going to play, we're having fun <laughs> Welcome back to the Secret Kindergarten Radio Show, where young children learn and grow. Young children learn and grow through play, and listening is one of those ways. So listen up and join me now. Listen anywhere and listen anyhow. This is the secret kindergarten with your friend Gino. <laughs> and we're gonna play the freeze game. Let's just do it straight away. So get up. <laughs> Even you adults out there. <laughs> when is the music going to stop? Did you even get up? <laughs> Did you even start moving? Let's start that again. And this is good for you young children because it teaches you body control. And as you get good at controlling your body, you get good at controlling yourself when you grow up. Controlling your feelings, controlling your thoughts, controlling your actions. And so when you grow up, you can do whatever you want to do. So, so when you're a young kid, you just got to get moving until you have to stop. When do you have to stop? Oh, I must have got you then. Okay, let's go again. Are you good at dancing? I am terrible at dancing. Oh! Got you! Here we go again. Let's get moving, go! You gotta dance like no one's watching. And in my case, nobody's watching. <laughs> Okay, when's the next freeze coming? Oh, got you! Ah, you weren't expecting that one. Okay, there's gonna be one more, somewhere. You can do marching to this. Oh, I got you. And that's the end of that one. Let's play a little song by Nancy Stewart. Penguin, waddle and walk, we're doing the 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 penguin
around. We're doing the penguin waddle and walk. We're doing the penguin waddle and walk. Doing the penguin waddle and walk. We're doing the penguin waddle and walk. who has fleas my cat has fleas she doesn't have many but she does have fleas and you know how I know she tries to put her butt in my face when I sit down on the couch as if I'm gonna scratch her butt with the stubble on my face <laughs> oh my goodness my cat is crazy so how am I gonna fix her fleas well we have to give her flea drops and she hates flea drops it's this icky oil we drop on the back of her neck. I'm going to read you a story. 
It's a Dr. Zeus story called Hurry, Hurry, Hurry. Here we go. Two legs, four legs, six legs, eight. We all have to hurry or we'll all be late. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Or we'll all be late. Two legs, four legs, six legs, eight. But when you hurry fast, you begin to puff and blow. And your legs won't last, so we'd better hurry slow. So let's be late. That's what we'll do. With our eight legs, six legs, four legs, two. And that's one of my favourite Dr. Zeus stories. And while I'm on a roll with stories, I'm going to read you another one. This one's called Sitting in My Box by D. Lilligard. Here we go. Sitting in my box, a tall giraffe knocks. Let me in, let me in. So I move over. Sitting in my box, an old grey elephant knocks. Let me in, let me in. So we both move over. Sitting in my box, a big baboon knocks. Let me in, let me in. So we all move over. Sitting in my box, a grumpy lion knocks. Let me in, let me in. So we all move over. Sitting in my box, a hippopotamus knocks. Let me in, let me in. <laughs> Does that how, is that how a hippopotamus sounds? I don't know, but we all move over. Standing in my box, there's no room to sit. Wait a minute. This box has too much in it. Someone has to go. Not me, not me, not me, not me, not me. Standing in my box, along comes a flea. A flea never knocks. He jumps right in. He bites the hippo and the grumpy lion. He bites the baboon and the old grey elephant. He bites the giraffe. And that's why I'm sitting in my box. Just me. Do you want to play a game? Here's a new game. A debut on the Secret Kindergarten Radio Show. Name the feeling. All right. So I'm going to play you a sound. And you've got to name that feeling. So the first sound is a small dog. And I wonder how the small dog is feeling. Let's have a listen. What do you think? Now I think generally small dogs are very naughty. I've only ever been bitten by small dogs. What do you think that small dog's feeling? Yeah, I think so. I think that small dog is a little bit angry. Do you ever feel angry? If you feel angry, you've got to clench your hands together and make some fists and clench your teeth and go, I'm angry. That's what you've got to do because you, if you feel angry, you've got to let the anger out. Okay, let's play another one. Let's have a listen. And this is a person. I wonder how they're feeling. Let's have a listen. <laughs> Ah, 
I think I know how that person's feeling straight away. What do you think? One more time. <laughs> I wish I was as happy as that person all the time. That was a happy person. A person feeling happy. Okay. One more. Here we go. Oh, chickens! How are these chickens feeling? What do you think? Those chickens are... They're what? Are they happy? Are they... Sad? What do you think they are? I think they are... Excited. They are excited. I wonder what's exciting them. Have you ever seen chickens in real life? Excited chickens. I think those chickens, I think somebody was, <laughs> I think someone was provoking those chickens. <laughs> Someone was doing something. I don't know what. But anyway, let's play a little song. Bluebird, bluebird, through my window. Bluebird, bluebird, through my window. Bluebird, bluebird, through my window. Oh, Johnny, I'm tired. We don't have bluebirds in New Zealand, but I tell you, we have a lot of birds here, especially where I live, a lot of birds. We have all kinds of birds. We have colorful parrots, we have starlings, and I've got starlings living in the roof of my house. And they make a bit of noise, but... I don't want to do anything to them, so I'm going to let them stay there until they've raised their little eggs because it's springtime here. And there I see a lot of baby birds around. And now we've reached the bottom of the hour. We've built ourselves up like a towering tower. May we go bra grow brave, strong and happily at all times. Stay tuned to The Secret Kindergarten. We'll see you on the other side.